Hey guys, it's Fun Pin Make It by Ren Ren, and if you want to see my September 2012 favorites, stay tuned for more. Hey y'all, so I'm back with another video. So it is technically October, but I promised that I would get my September favorites out because I was so late with all of my um, summer favorites. So September is gonna, it's gonna come a little late, but it's still, at least I'm doing back on the monthly track. So I wanted to share with you some items from September that I'm really loving. And um, some of them are old things that I rediscovered and some new things too. So I hope you guys enjoy. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So this month, um, like I said, I have some oldies and some newbies. Um, let me go ahead and get started. And this is kind of gross because I have hair all over these brushes. Um, I got some brushes from Falaka.com and they're from the company called Denman. D-E-N-M-A-N. Have you guys heard of that before? I have. Um, I remember when I first started getting into beauty stuff, I remember hearing that Denman brushes were like the creme de la creme of hair brushes out there. And they sent me a couple and some of them are actually really good. I think they're pretty pricey though. So um, I'm trying to get the hair out of this brush so it's not so gross. Okay, so I'll go through some of my favorites and I'll tell you why. And you know, everybody needs hair brushes and some people are a little bit more serious about their brushes than others, but I do like the ones that they sent. Three in particular, they sent like seven of them. Okay, so first off, this seems like such a basic brush but it's actually a really, really good idea. So basically, um, it's a blow dry brush, even though it doesn't look like it. And it's got these um, these slots, the big slots in here. And it, if you blow dry and the air goes through the brush, it blow dries your hair so much quicker than if you use like a regular brush like this, which doesn't have slots. So I'm like, duh, I don't know why I never thought to do that before. I kind of wish this brush was like the size of a paddle brush though because then it would be like even quicker because I have a lot of hair but that's such a great idea I don't know why I, I never realized that before I have this basic paddle brush so it's like that's a little bit small but it's good for blow drying but this brush is really good because it's big and it detangles my hair really quick because I have long hair and I have some other paddle brushes from just like the beauty supply store and I guess I could tell a difference now because those ones weren't good. They would like, they felt like they caught caught in my hair. Um, but this one just goes right through. It's nice. I feel like it'll like it's a quality brush. You can kind of tell the difference. It's a little bit higher quality. It's really basic though. I mean, that's just kind of like, I know it doesn't seem fancy, but I like the way that it works in my hair. But this is a cool brush out of the whole set. So this is a head hugger brush. And as you can see, it's got this like interesting shape where it comes in in the middle and it's boar bristles, or it's not boar bristles, it's synthetic bristles. And it's awesome for blowing out your hair. And I started to use it and basically it's curved so that it fits your head like that. And then it lets you get closer to the root so that way you get more volume and it dries your hair quick. And it's just like awesome, like the, the shape makes it. And unlike a lot of round brushes, I've gone through like a lot of different round brushes for blowout purposes. And a lot of them, my hair gets really caught and it doesn't allow for the smooth, like continuing to go like this motion. So this one works really good. I think it's just like, these are just really nice hair brushes. So that's pretty much what they are, good hair brushes. So that's that. Oh, last one is this one. This is specifically for detangling. Tonight, it's like a comb and a brush in one. And look how thick it is. Like you could just tell this is a quality brush. So this is like what I use right out of the um, shower when my hair is wet. And I put the product in my hair and then just comb it through it. And it's a really good detangler. It doesn't like rip out your hair. And it's better than a comb because I don't use combs because my hair is too thick for all that. So it's a really good detangler. So you can find those at falaka.com. Okay, now the rest are pretty much skincare and makeup. So let's start with the skin stuff. So um, I am an eye cream fanatic. I feel like everybody needs an eye cream no matter what age you are for preventative purposes. You, the eye area is just so sensitive, especially if you do makeup. Like you want to keep the delicate skin protected. So um, on the New York Makeup Show, I picked up the Bar Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. 
and um, I didn't really know much about this one. I just knew I needed an eye cream, and I'm really happy with it. I've been using it for the last like three months, and I'm almost at. That's all I have left in there. See, and it's just that you could tell like some eye creams just don't seem like they do anything at all. But this one, when you put it on, it goes in really smooth. It doesn't have like a weird residue, but it really makes your skin so soft all day long. Like I have sometimes problems with dry patches. And it just makes it so, so smooth and so soft all day. And then when you put a concealer over, it glides on better. And it's really good. I got actually another one of these on Hot Look because it was on Hot Look recently. So if you see Mario Badescu and you're looking for an eye cream, they are a lot of times on Hot Look so that way it's cheaper. And I know you can get this at Ulta too and then online. Moving on. Okay, so I got this in my Glossy Box last month. And I, first of all, Glossy Box is going to be a September favorite because I've been getting more and more impressed every single box I get. And I actually use this stuff in there. I don't just like, cause they're all kind of sample size. I don't just kind of like toss it randomly. I actually use them. And I have a couple items that are from the glossy box in here. But this is the Olay um, Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster Potent Vitamin C Complex. And it's a little bottle. And I'm actually already halfway through. I've been using this for the last like two weeks as a serum. So basically you put this on before your moisturizer and it just does a whole bunch of good stuff like it. It helps to smooth out wrinkles, it protects your skin, it nourishes it like intense moisture. And I noticed that if I don't use this and I just wash my face and then do the whole um, regular moisturizer thing, it's like my skin feels the difference, like it feels dry and it, it just feels itchy. So it makes a really good difference for dry skin as well as like trying to even out scars. Like it does, these kind of serums, I'm a huge, like just as much as I love eye cream, I always have to have a, a serum in my regimen, especially as I get older. Okay, so here's um, the last, no, no, almost last skincare. So I have Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I get I got this during the, ma the makeup show in New York and I picked it up because I knew it was awesome. I've mentioned this in favorites videos before. I'm mentioning it again because I recently opened up a new bottle and I, cause I had like a pimple right here and it went away in like two or three days because it just really does dry it up quickly. And I love it like a lot more now. Like it reminded me how much I loved it because I opened a fresh bottle and it, I could tell it was way more potent than the old bottle I had. So you just dip a cotton swab in into this little pinky stuff right here, the sediment, and you dot it on at night and it looks like calamine lotion, but it works so good for drying out pimples. Like you get like a big zit overnight and you're like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You should use this. So I really, really love that. Me and my boyfriend both use that. Okay, so this seems kind of random. This is the Even Out Skin Toner and it's like in this little homemade bottle because I went to this honey event, like literally honey, the National Honey Board sponsored like this beauty event talking about the benefits of honey and skincare as a natural moisturizer, preservative, humectant. And um, it was here in Atlanta and this one lady named Holly B from Holly B Organics developed a whole bunch of different beauty products with honey in them. And we like played with them and we like, they're all like homemade organic. So she has this skin tone, this even out skin toner. And she just put in like a regular ball because like we were making them, like she made them just for the event. But it has witch hazel on it and some other good stuff. It looks like there might be some lemon in it and there's definitely a honey in it. So she was like, okay, so one thing that they said during the event, which I did not agree with was, oh yeah, this is a toner and I just marketed it as a makeup finishing spray because that's what the hot thing is right now. And it's just toner, but it's the same thing. And I was like, in my head, I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> Cause I have a bunch of toners and I have some makeup moisturizer mist and they're not the same as makeup finishing sprays. So this will not finish your makeup. Um, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I didn't want to be a hater, but it is amazing on its own as a toner. Oh my God, it's really, really, really good. Like it kind of stinks a little bit because witch hazel has that cat, cat pee smell to me. But when you spritz on your face and like after a few seconds, oh my God, your skin feels so soft. So it's an instant moisturizer. Really convenient because it's in a spray bottle as long as you can get over the smell of witch hazel. I love this and I think she sells it obviously in a better container than this. This is just for the event. But it's the Even Out Skin Toner by Holly B Organics. So of course I'll link it because it's like she's an Atlanta 
like an Atlanta person who sells like worldwide, but it's not like a main brand. So really, really love that. Okay. So this is something that's kind of random. This is the Alessandro Pedex Feet Heel Rescue Balm. This was in my glossy box, I think two months ago. And I was like, eh, foot cream, whatever. Foot cream is not like an essential beauty product for me. But yo, this is like seriously a gem. And I didn't think I was going to like it that much. So, you know, we all try to take care of our feet. I get pedicures probably maybe once every two months. Um, I try to go every month if I can. But, um, you know, when you show your feet a lot, like when you wear um, heels and sandals, your feet are just going to get dry. And, you know, they're going to get rough because they're exposed to the elements. And I know that um, sometimes they look a little ashy and... You know, you can't always just go in and get in there with a pumice stone and get a pedicure. But I was crazy surprised. This really, like, it's not, like, super thick. But, like, when you put on your foot, after a few minutes, your foot's, like, instantly smooth. Like, you guys know what I mean. Like, sometimes your feet are rough on the bottom. They feel like you're, they're catching on your sheets. Like, this really, really, really works. I was so surprised. Like, because it's just like a, like, whatever, a foot, foot cream. It's nice to have not not a must-have. But, man, this is good stuff. It's by the brand Alessandro. I actually read another vlogger's review on it because she got it in her glossy box and she was amazed too. But apparently she said it's not available in the US because the glossy box is an international thing. So um, maybe, I'm pretty sure you can probably find this online. It's definitely available in the UK. But if you're looking for, for, for some hydration for your feet, this is what's up. Okay, so the last thing from my glossy box is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, and this is in shade number 31, Gold and Beige. So if you saw my last Glossy Box video like two videos ago, I was so amazed by how we got this huge BB Cream in our Glossy Box. Like, oh my god. So not only is it a huge size, it's amazing. Like, this is my go-to, like, foundation in the last week or two. I know it's not long, but I just, as soon as I opened it, I knew that I loved it. I'm sorry that, unfortunately, this is a darker shade, which is not that dark at all. It's just a, it's just like, a, unfortunately, it's, it's an Asian brand, and they just don't go into deep skin tones, which is a shame, because I just love it. It's, I got, I got really lucky, because this is, like, the darker shade is my skin tone, and I'm, I've, I've had problems never finding a BB cream that is my skin tone, especially from Asian brands. But this is amazing. It's like primer, moisturizer, foundation, concealer, anti-wrinkle, all in one. It's a true BB cream, not like all those drugstore BB creams that try to pretend they're BB creams. And it gives you a really nice coverage. And but it doesn't look cakey in it and it looks like, it just looks good. So I'm like, I don't usually like full coverage, but I like this. And I actually like applying it with my fingers, I know it's more than... Um, a brush so I definitely recommend this number 31 golden beige um, it has SPF 42 in it I'm definitely gonna be using this until I'm out of it so I really love that okay so let me mention something which is kind of like interesting it this was good this was actually going to make the not so favorites but it's gonna make the favorites and the reason why is because I, I learned a different way to use it so this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and actually this is shade NC30, which is definitely um, a lighter shade, and I use it as a highlight under eye concealer type of thing. Now the reason why it was going to make the not so favorites is because it's very thick, and I found it to be to just be very unnatural looking under the eye, like it would accentuate fine lines, it just didn't look good. So I was kind of disappointed about that, and I know a lot of people use it. And so, so the reason why it made the favorites is because I started to use it on top of this. And now it's like heaven. Um, I think it's because if I put this down first, it kind of like fills in all the lines and whatnot. And then it just, this smooth, like goes on so smooth on top. And I'm wearing this combination on right now. And it's really, really good. So I don't think I'll really use this on my, like, as a, my um, concealer on its own. Like, I wouldn't use it with a light foundation, and I would only really use this with a heavier coverage and on top of the foundation. I think that's just the combination that I found works for me. So, yeah, that is that. Okay, so, 
I'm going to finish off with the face, and these are products I'm wearing again. So in my Halloween haul video, I mentioned that I finally picked up some Graftubian HG Pro Powders in my actual shade, and so no longer will, will I be borrowing from my kit palette. So these are the full-size powders. Oops. Whoa, that totally just fell out. Okay, well, I don't know. Okay, so these are um, the shades that I have here. Um, the one I'm wearing today is called Healthy Tan. It's a perfect shade for me, NC42 and MAC. And it's really, like, the thing about these powders is that you can use them for so many things. You can use them as powder foundation with, like, more of a dense brush. Or you could set, use it to set your foundation, which I did with a looser powder brush. You can use these on men, on clients. You can use them as highlight and contour depending on what shade you get. So these are really good powders. I'm so glad I finally got them because now I've been using them a lot. And like in Graftopian, you're definitely bound to find the right shade for you. And that is, for me right now, it's Healthy Tan. Um, and I also got this shade, which is called Natural Glow. Now this one is a, a smidge lighter than Healthy Tan, and this is going to be my winter shade. So FYI, if you need a shade comparison. But it's really good. It leaves like, um, it leaves a semi, like a demi matte finish, which is more like a natural skin look. So it like mattifies your foundation, but it doesn't look fake and cakey. Really good. I've even been using this in my kit for years, and I'm finally using it on myself. And then, I actually also have another one. So this is the same product, but this is in the Pro Size Refill Pan. This would go in a palette. So it's small, but like very pigmented. So the reason why I use this shade, this is Hot Chocolate, is I use this as a contour. So I have it on right now, and I love it as a contour. I'm so glad that I, um, I was... I got it for that purpose because I actually use MAC Blunt Blush a lot for my contour. And that's definitely, that made my favorites last month. And I still love it, but let me just show you. See, they're not the exact same color, but they're similar. And it's this is like obviously like a semi-matte, so it's it makes a great contour. The difference is that I think this is a, a little bit softer than this, which can be a little bit too heavy sometimes. So I like that because it's more of a natural contour. And this is obviously much cheaper than this. I think this is, it's like probably $8 for this. And don't be um, fooled by the small pan because of, like, it's very pigmented. So I'm happy about this. I'm going to still probably use blunt, but lately I've been just using this and it's a really good contour. Okay, so another favorite of mine that you've definitely seen and the last couple of videos is, actually I used it in my last Halloween tutorial, is this. This is the Senna Sketch a Brow Precision Brow Pencil in Dark Taupe. And I've had this for a really, really long time before and I've used it pretty consistently. But you know what? I was like, it's almost like I rediscovered it recently and I was like, this pencil is the bomb. I already knew that Senna made amazing brow products. And when I first reviewed it, I was like, yeah, this is a good pencil. It's just a little bit too light for me. I don't know what I was thinking. This is, is the perfect shade for me. And it's definitely giving my Holy Grail Tarte Emphasized Brow Pencil like a, a run for its money. Because, okay, so this is shade Tarte. This, shade's, <laughs> this is shade Dark Taupe. And I used it on my brows today. And it just gives the most natural brow effect. The shade is like a really neutral medium brown. And the consistency and this fine lead, the combination of that... Like, just gives, like, really realistic hair-like strokes. So, it looks really good. And you can't go too dark. And I can definitely go too dark um, and make a mistake with the um, tart one. Because I think that one is a little bit heavier. And this one is a little drier. So, you can't make a mistake. I'm, I love it. I don't know what I, I, like, totally didn't, like, see, like, the amazingness in this before. So, I'm definitely going to be using this. Maybe moving forward, I don't know. It might give my holy grail a run for its money. So this is a sketch of brow, um, and specifically in dark taupe. And it's really good. I'm wearing it right now. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, so this is an oldie but goodie. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in Black is Black. I always get Black is Black because I think they have some other shades. Um, I've been using this liner probably for the last 10 years. Um, and... Um, I was using it before I started beauty vlogging because I was like a diehard Revlon Colorstay Liquid Liner fan. Um, I still use this in my kit. 
And the reason why is I'll show you because um, it's difficult as a makeup artist to use liquid liner on a client and I discovered that this is the only method that works for me to use um, liquid liner in a sanitary way. So what I do is I unscrew it and I just tap it like that, okay? And then I will take like an eyeliner brush, any like liner brush, and go like that and apply liner to the client. And that's the only way I've found that you can really use liquid liner in a sanitary way because, okay, so the thing is like the really popular liquid liner pens now, like, you know, they look like a felt tip marker. They're great and they're convenient, but I've, you can't sanitize those for your kit. And they also dry out really quickly. So I've tried it before, like trying to, to do it on a client and then spraying the tip of it with alcohol. That is does not work because it messes it up makes it watery and if you are using that on a client it's just not sanitary so this is the way to go um, and then also I find that like I said for me it doesn't dry out as quickly as the felt tip pens this is a really good dark formula that lasts all day and I actually find it easier to use this wand than any other wand I do it like really much like I do it in like a third of the time than I did with the pen so love this I mean, classic, I'll probably buy this, like, for my whole life. It's, just, it's like, a truly holy grail product. So, definitely recommend, especially if you like liquid liner. Okay, and the last mention that I have for favorites is also something I've been using for, like, the last two years, which I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but it's the Sonia Kashuk Full Glamour Lashes. And I first heard about these from um, Holly Anna Reed, the YouTuber that I'm sure you all know. She was using these, um, in particular she really liked this style which is like a full crisscross lash. I've been using it for like two years, I keep repurchasing it. These lashes are so good. Um, they're a little different than a regular lash because like for example this lash I'm wearing now which is like the one I mentioned in my last favorites video is great because it's like more natural hair wispy. This one is a little bit more, um, it's, it's, I think it might be synthetic and it just, but it, the thing about it is it doesn't look fake, it doesn't look plasticky, but it lasts forever. And this particular style, it just makes your eyes look so good without being like fake looking. I actually wore this in the last Halloween tutorial for Oren Ishii from Kill Bill because it was natural, but it gave my eyes pop. These are really, really good. Like, please try these and let me know what you think because these are definitely probably one of my top two favorite lashes. Like. I like the wispy lash and then I like this lash. So definitely check that out. That's Sonia Kashuk. You can get them at Target. So that is my favorites for the month. Um, it ended up being way longer than I thought it would be because I ended up just throwing in products that I loved last minute. What I've been doing is doing new stuff but also doing old stuff that I'm like, yeah, that's totally a favorite. I use it all the time. So I will have pictures of all these on my blog at makeupbyrenren.com with a description that I always do it on my blog and I type it up so that way... If you can't watch the video, you can read the blog. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll try to be on time for my next month's favorite. So that's it. So I hope you guys have a great night. Ciao, bellas.